Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you, and um, happy afternoon in Sunday for those who they are in Asia and Indonesia. Um, today, our topic is about we pray in Arabic, but we do not understand Arabic. What makes Islam more silly is what we see in the Quran. In chapter 12, verse number 2, and many other verses, supposedly the God of the Abdul is speaking, and he says that we have revealed it to you, which means the Quran, in Arabic language, that you may understand. And I found, or I find this uh, statement is hilarious. Because even those who speak Arabic, they could not understand the Quran. And those who live in the time of Muhammad, they could not understand the Quran. And until now, none of those who speak Arabic from before or now, they understand the Quran. So how a Muslim who don't even speak Arabic, he will understand the Quran? And how the Quran is uh, supposedly a book of an international language as the Muslims they claim. But yet Muhammad, he says in his book, we made it to you in Arabic so you might understand. It's a very silly statement. Nobody understand the Quran. Not even Muhammad himself understand the Quran. Because there is no point of this book. This book is made like a rap music, which is made very horrible. You see, the Muslim they bring you someone he have a nice voice, and anyone he have a nice voice, it doesn't matter what he sing, even if he is singing the F word, is going to come nice in your ears. I will give you an example. If somebody brought you a song in a language you don't understand and the singer have a very nice voice and he's saying nothing but except uh, uh, you know he eat poop and he enjoy poop and he like to do poop but you do not know what he's saying you will be the same as the cobra who move her head with a stick you have no idea why the stick is moving but you move your head with it so Quran, for those who speak Arabic, they knew how silly, how stupid it is. And there's no connection between the verses. Like as an example, look in the front of you. And look how silly this book is. We made this book for you in Arabic so you might understand. And yet in the first verse it says, Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. Alif, Lam, Ra. If you ask the Muslim, what does that mean? They don't know. They say, oh, only Allah knows what he meant by those. many times I said nobody call me guys unless I say call me now please don't call me don't call me unless I say we can't take calls unless I you know I have to go uh, anyone want to call me especially if you are a Christian ask me if you can call please because you do nothing except disturbing our topic Always, always we notice how the Muslims they try to say to us or try to present Islam or, or, or Quran as something miraculous. Uh, the miraculous is a book who cannot uh, understand even with my own language. This is miracle of stupidity. And if you go and see the structures of the book, you will notice how funny and how silly this book is and how there's no connection if you read just the first two verses it says that those verses or scriptures are made makes plain i mean what plain about them what is plain about them and then he says and we made the quran for you in arabic so you might understand 
but how come still they can't understand and if you make it in Arabic so they can understand so what about the Quran will be made to someone from Pakistan or Indonesia clearly here Muhammad when he mentioned this he was thinking of himself as a prophet for the Arab only he never thought that he is going to expand his business in the beginning his hope was for something smaller the Arab around him Mecca around him but he never thought that the business will grow if you go to the different verse in the Quran you will see the Quran saying another thing which is making it more stupid too and actually this verse make makes sense but it's against the Quran itself the Quran says we never send a messenger except he speak the line the tongue of his people so they might understand so according to the Quran the one the author of the Quran he he he, he set a guideline that the God who his name is Allah supposedly he will never send and he never did send a messenger unless he speak the language of his folk so he have to be from the folk speaking the language of the folk he can't be a foreigner speak the language and he have to be a person who is a native from the folk speaking the language of the folk and the purpose is so we can make it clear for them as you see and this is the Muslim translation and that makes sense and then we will find the stupidity of the Quran in the from in of places where the Muslim they say that Muhammad was sent for all mankind but yet the Quran confirmed that we never send the messenger unless he speak the language and the tongue of the people to the people you notice like when those uh, Muslim Abdul who don't speak Arabic they call me uh, they ask me what translation you are reading question what do you used to do before the translation is exist how the Muslims they survive to be Muslims until now and know your father and you and nobody knows what to, you do not know Arabic somebody is a is, is a is a from Turkey somebody is from Afghanistan Pakistan how you can understand what the Arab themselves they could not understand what Muhammad trying to say it's very silly it's very stupid Actually, every verse in the front of you is a joke. What is the relationship between this verse and the verse before it, and the verse after it, and the verse after it, and the verse after it? Nothing. It's a mix of shish kebab. If you remember in the Quran, there is a verse where it says that today Allah he completed the Quran for you to completed his favor upon you and he chose Islam for you as religion <clears throat> okay so today you completed the religion for us right and you choose Islam for us as a as a uh, as a religion so So what about the rest of the Quran? You completed the Quran in the beginning of the Quran? This is how silly this religion is. It's forbidden for you to eat this and that and that. And then he says, as you read with me, this day, this day I have perfected your religion for you do you see it this day but hold on this is a chapter 5 verse number 3 Either the Muslims they have to agree that somebody he played with the Quran 
he abused it, he changed it, he fabricated locations, or Allah is stupid. Because how you can say in the beginning of the Quran that today I completed your religion for you, complete, perfected your religion, it's became perfect today. This day, I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and choosing Islam for you as religion. This is a verse, should be the last verse in the Quran. If the Quran truly is a book coming from God, this is like somebody saying, Thank you for reading my book. Today I finished my book and I hope I was able to help you. Uh, somebody saying from now on we cannot download the Christian Prince videos. Why you cannot? It's very easy. There's tons of videos in YouTube. Search how to download YouTube videos and they will show you. Especially make the filter for the last year so you can get a new method and new apps firefox they have app uh, to install in your firefox to make you able to download easy so as we see this book cannot be a book of god because it doesn't make sense it's contradict itself same time the same book saying that we made this book in a clear pure arabic we find that even the word quran itself is not arabic what is the first sentence? What is the first verses Muhammad you receive? You remember when the angel came to him and he squeezed him. And he told him to read. You remember? Chapter 96, verse number 1, 2, 3, 4, as you see. The first Verses supposed the Muhammad he received from his God is the most stupid statement ever. A God who said to his angels, read, sorry, that to his man read, but the man he do not know how to read. And then this God, he, he make the angels squeeze Muhammad three times and still the man he do not know even what the angel want. And then the God, he says to Muhammad, read, read. And your Lord is the most gracious. And he is the one who taught you by the pen. How he taught him by the pen? Same time, the word Qalam is not an Arabic word. The word Alaq is not an Arabic word. The word Allah is not an Arabic word. The word Ar-Rahman is not an Arabic word. The word Ar Rahim is not an Arabic word. The word Rabbaka is not an Arabic word. This way, like even in Hebrew, you say Rabbi, right? Rabbi, Rabbi, Rab is coming from the Aramaic, which is mean Lord. It can be a Lord of a house, it can be God, it can be a Rabbi. So we made the whole book in Arabic, but there's no Arabic in this book. Even, even what Muhammad, he called it hell, which is Jahannam, he, he, he stole it. If you ask any Muslim, what Jahannam mean? He have no idea. What Jahannam? All the names Muhammad he have in his Quran, they have nothing to do with Arabic. Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq or Isaac, Ishmael, Israel, Mikael, Jibreel. I mean, how does God, he prefer Arabic, even he wrote the Shahada in his throne in Arabic, yet all the names of his angels are not Arabic names. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys?
And then because Muhammad, he's trying just to make a point. Because of that, he come with a stupid, he, he could he was not successful to make a point because it's the, his Arabic is broken badly. So, you know, just to, to keep the term of the last letter, as you see here, like Al-Akram. Last letter is M, Al-Qalam. Mm. Ya'lam. And here he switched because he don't have enough words to, to continue. He don't have ability. Then he switched to Liyatra. So the last letter is Alif Maqsura. Stagna, na. Raja'a, raja'a. Yanha, yanha. Salla. Huh? So he is just keeping the term or the tone of letters. But by doing that, he messed up with the meaning. There's no meaning of the words. If you read, you will see how silly it is. I mean, what do you mean he taught the, the, the human being by the pen? Allah, he taught the human being by the pen. What is missing to say that Allah is the one who created the pen? Nay, but verily man is rebellious. What, what, is, the, what is the connection between this verse and this verse? And what nay mean? Nay for what? Nay an answer for what? I mean, when somebody says nay, obviously somebody is asking you a question or you, what, what nay? Nay. And then that he think himself independent. And then he continue. And you read the holy chapter. Did you learn any some like anything useful? It is like a special kind of wisdom. Anyone can make a speech. Says you have to go back to God, and God He will judge you in the end of the time. And the human being sometimes is a greedy. He think he is etc. But this is no. There's no. There's nothing there. What I learned from this chapter? Nothing. And then, as usual, Muhammad always, he threat in his book. And when he threat, he make poo-poo. Actually, if you notice with me, all the last few verses in the Quran, they are the most funny, stupid ones. And I believe the Muslims, they put them at the end, not because they are short as they claim, but because they are stupid. Look at this. Say, I seek refuge by the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the sneaking, sneaking whisperer, who whisper in the heart of mankind, of the genie and the mankind. I mean, is, is that really a God talking? How many mankind we have? And if you read it in Arabic, you will die laughing for those who speak Arabic. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَهِ النَّاسِ مِنْ شَرِّ الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ الَّذِي يُوَسْوِسْ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ سَاسْ 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 He's just trying to keep the tone. And because of that, the meaning is very silly. Look how many times he repeat the same word in Arabic. He can ask anyone. If you repeat the same word over and over and over, this is a big failure. That's mean you are out of words to use. And what khannas? Al khannas al waswas. If you switch to the verse, this is chapter number 114. But what about we go to 113 to see maybe it's better? It's the same garbage. I mean, Allah, He sent this. Ten words. Say, I seek refuge of the daybreak. What? What do you mean, seek refuge of the daybreak? What's wrong with the daybreak? From the evil of, th of that which he created. From the evil, he created who? Allah, he created evil. And we seek refuge by Allah from the one who created the evil. And then he goes and he says, وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ if you have my book, you will see that Aisha, she came to Muhammad and she was horny. 
waqab here is about penis but if you read the translation you will see nobody says anything about the penis Muhammad his wife Aisha she is horny she is young she want to have sex and obviously Muhammad he cannot satisfy her so he said to her so he is claiming that she is evil now and then he inserted some special verses about envy and you see here uh, they don't really translate correctly I mean it doesn't say here from the evil of uh, malignant witchcraft it doesn't say that it says from those who blow in the knots so according to Muhammad God this is Allah supposedly talking let us change the translation let us choose different hilarious donkey Muhammad he believe sorry God, his God believe that you can control people by blowing in the knots See, the translation is false. They did, they did not mention the word nuts. Let us change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us see uh, Shakir. Here we go. You see, in Shakir, he got it right. So, from the evil of those who blow on the nuts. Okay, let us say I am a person who don't speak Arabic. And now I'm reading the Quran in a language I don't understand. And there's no English translation. How in the world I want to know what, what it's talking about? Same time, here we go, we have it translated. What does that mean? How in the world will we know what does that mean? What is the evil? Who is the evil who blow in the knot? He's talking about who? About what? All of this teaching is nothing but superstition. It's fictions. Somebody buy a Barbie and he can blow or he make a rope and he tie a knot for you and he blow in it and supposedly he control you by that by the way Muslims I would love to see you controlling me by the knot why you don't make a knot for me huh why you don't make a knot for the Jews for Netanyahu make a knot for uh, Trump what are you waiting for? And what kind of God he believe in such a garbage? The envy and the one who envy. And here we notice, you know, I mean, Islam, because it's very silly religion, Allah, he said to Muhammad what to say to be protected from the witchcraft and from the knot. And later we find that Muhammad was controlled by magic. So what the point of this verse? Muhammad himself was controlled by black magic, according to Muslims. According to me, I don't believe in that story. I believe that Muhammad, he made it up that he was controlled by black magic just to cover his ass. This guy, he's mentally ill. He do crazy stuff and he have to cover himself. Says, don't blame me, blame the Jews. Blame the Jews. According to the story, a Jew, he took some hair from the prophet. We do not know from which location, but I hope not from his ass. And he controlled him. The guy's name is Lubayd ibn al-Asam. Lubayd ibn al-Asam, he controlled the prophet. And he took some hair from him, as you see in the story. And then Allah, in order to save his prophet from being controlled by uh, Lubayd ibn al-Asam, who is supposedly a Jew who cast a spell on Allah Messenger. Have you ever heard of such a story? How he is Allah Messenger protected by Allah, yet a Jew, his name is Lubayd, he cast a spell on Muhammad. And imagine this spell was so powerful to the point Allah himself could not do 
from far away a solution. He had to send two angels or three and find the solution to save the prophet from the influence of the spell. So why must they say to us, if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be. Why well, you are sending two angels to fight a stupid spell, which is nothing but some hair stuck in a comp. And now I understand why Sam Shamoon don't have hair. I think this is for security reason. Be careful. If somebody control takes some of your hair, he got you. As simple as that. This is God, this is religion, this is a prophet. I mean, name one thing for me, this prophet was not affected by. He claimed that his cousin, he raped him. He wear women clothes. He put eyeliner. He pissed like women. He imagined himself having sex, but he did not. He was under black magic. I mean, what is left? He's a child molester. He was accused that he stole an underwear. If there is one thing in the book of hilarious madness, he, you know, he was not involved with. However, as usual, let us blame the Jews. Let us blame the Jews became by time a tradition carried on from Muhammad even being carried to Western people. Anything happening in the world, we blame the Jews. We learn that from Muslims. There is a story about a Palestinian woman. She is not a Palestinian. She is a Muslim from Hamas, Arab. She went to work in uh, uh, in Israel. She left Gaza and she came back. Her husband, after two few weeks after coming back, he noticed that she have a she have a belly. He said to her, "What is that?" She said, "I'm pregnant." He said, "How you are? How you are going to have a baby? I did not have sex with you more than a year. You just came." And then right away, he start blaming the Jews. Even in that, they blame the Jews. It's not his wife cheating around, sleeping around. It is the Jews. I send my wife to Israel and she have no baby in her belly. She came back to me and she have a baby. It is the Jews. It's not his wife, she is a whore. It is the Jews. So if we ask the Muslims, what make Islam a religion? Is that believing in a fiction? Somebody can control you by a Barbie? Somebody believe that there is a flying carpet, ring of Solomon? Somebody believe that the prophet, he have a plastic surgery to expand his breast? And Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom and dish of belief in his chest? What make Islam a religion? What make Muhammad a prophet? Especially the story about the angels stiffing inside the nerves and the vein of Muhammad, wisdoms and faith. You see, you can read all kinds of stories in the world. You never find any stupid story can be this story, that there is somebody God need to install a wisdom in his chest by doing a plastic surgery. And Dr. Jabril, suddenly Jabril became a doctor, a surgeon, and he cut open all his chest from here to there, and he took all the material in his chest, as if the chest of Muhammad is a trunk. 
why Allah he need to do a plastic surgery for Muhammad to make him what to clean him to clean his chest can Allah clean the chest of Muhammad without making a surgery and what is inside the chest of Muhammad which make it necessarily to make immediate surgery to the point they cut from here to here which mean all the way to his balls not his chest and even they took the abundant and they wash it with the water of Zamzam and after they clean all the the material as you see they took the material off screws driver I mean you name it have you ever heard of a stupid religion before like this the angels now they are preparing Muhammad to be ready to go to heaven how we make somebody ready to go to heaven we do plastic surgery and we wash his chest and then we install back all the material <laughs> If this is religion, what is a stupidity? And by the way, Allah, he did the same miracle to Muhammad twice because the first one, I mean the same surgery twice. The first one obviously was not successful. He made supposed to one for him when he was young and he made for him one when he is an adult man. Two surgeries. And then after they wash what is inside his body, as you see, and I'm not sure what kind of detergent they use. I would love to have YouTube open at that time and my camera on Muhammad and Jibreel. Muhammad in the floor and Jibreel is chopping and, and he is cutting off parts and he throw it out. And then after they finish washing and cleaning by his hand, I mean, look at the angel, man. He is cleaning what is inside the chest of Muhammad and his belly by his hands. I'm so glad he did not use his feet. So after he cleaned what is inside the body, then he brought a golden tray containing a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom. In Islam, my friend, belief and wisdom come in dishes. And actually, to be honest with you, each time before I go on YouTube, I eat a dish of wisdom. This is why many of you think I'm smart, but I'm not. I just eat wisdom. Go right now to eBay, Amazon, order wisdom. They have many flavor. They have uh, wisdom with stupidity. They have wisdom with with the, uh, uh, with madness. There is wisdom with the, uh, I mean, uh, liberalism. Uh, I mean, you name it, socialism, there's, there's all kind of wisdom, communism, you can order it. If this is what made Muhammad a, a, a prophet, I mean, this is the most funny, stupid thing ever I heard. We install in his chest a dish of belief and wisdom. Okay, hold on. Where they put this wisdom? Read with me carefully. And Jibreel stuffed his chest and the throat, blood vessels with it. Ooh, mean. Brothers, sisters, if we call Zakir Naik now and we ask him, as a doctor, what he think about this, what he will say. Brother Tetar, did the person he named the Christian print? And always he made fun of the prophet. And the story about the prophet they cut his teeth and absolutely this is absolutely true story according to science they found that the blood of the prophet is full of wisdom they took a little drop from blood of the body of the prophet at the dna and they found in the hospital that it's full of wisdom and full of faith and actually the percentage of wisdom and faith in the blood is like 99 percent so christian print is a big fat liar And for sure, Zach and Mike is a doctor. I mean, come on, we have to face it. The prophet, he's not like us. 
You have a blood in your vein. The prophet, you have wisdom and belief. They stuff it there. Push, 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 push hard. And where and how they went into his uh, vessel, he stuffed it in his throat. I mean, you want to in his throat? I thought the throat connected to the stomach. Do you see the word? Guys, do you see the word throat? How he stuffed it in his throat? Muhammad is going to eat the wisdom. Here we need to take a look about how Muhammad, as we mentioned before, by the way, I made two uh, videos previously. Uh, most of you did not watch them. They are very funny and very nice to watch them. So I made three videos in the last 20, 24 hours. You better watch them in case you did not see them. They are short videos. When Christian Prince say short, it's like they are long, but they are short compared to other long videos. So how anyone <clears throat> can believe in such a garbage? Actually, somebody he sent me a nice, nice picture. Let me hold on, hold on. Uh, whoever made this picture is in. He did a good job. Let me take a snapshot of it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh man. Who is the one who made this? Uh... <laughs> Guys, if you see what I'm looking at, you won't believe it. Okay, I will share with you. Hold on. Give me a second. Man, oh man. Let me get it for you. <laughs> I cannot hold myself from laughing. Oh boy. <clears throat> Wait until you see what I what I got. Uh, give me a second. I'm opening the picture. <laughs> the person who did this for sure is an artist. He or she, I don't know. This is Jibreel coming to Muhammad and <laughs> Oh boy, I love it. <laughs> this is Jibreel coming to Muhammad and he have a knife in his hand. And then the surgery continue. And Jibreel opened Muhammad's chest with the knife. And then Jibreel. Then the angel washed his organs in a bowl of Zamzam water. Then Jibreel brought a golden vessel full of wisdom and faith and poured it in Muhammad's chest. very beautiful i mean who can who can now you can imagine what's happening for real it's not just like a story the story became a vision became a real story now <clears throat> you must not believe in that do you Honestly, I wish I can have uh, I have the skills of drawing, but I don't. Otherwise, I can make a nice stories. They wash his his abandonment, and they wash his heart and his kidney. They cut took it off. <laughs> and guess Muhammad, what was what he was doing? 
maybe Muhammad was like Muhammad was supposed to watch him because the one who report the story is Muhammad so his eyes is open I mean look at the technology of Allah they cut the chest of Muhammad they took everything and Muhammad is still alive and he can hear and he can see his heart is out his his stomach all out everything is out Do you see it? There is one thing uh, missing in the picture. The one who made the picture, he have teeth for Muhammad in the front. Muhammad, he have no teeth in the front. If you remember, they throw a rock at his mouth and they broke all his front teeth, the top and the bottom. But anyway, that is like not a big deal. But look what I see here in the back. Aisha is watching and she is naked. <laughs> look at this Aisha here. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> hmm? What a hilarious story. Oh boy. I mean, obviously, Muhammad is a prophet. If this is cannot convince you that Muhammad is a prophet, I know what can convince you. So we have a religion, nobody speaks the language of it. And those who speak the language like me, they can't even understand what this God is saying because the stupid rap words is not connected to each other and make no sense and have nothing to do with making sense. And then Muhammad, he come to us with the most hilarious, stupid stories ever. It doesn't matter how smart, how silly you are. I mean, how in the world you can believe in this? This is a religion or this is a stupid cult. I don't want to keep you longer with me. I know today it's Sunday. Some of you is maybe hitting to the church. Just I wanted to say good morning for people in Indonesia and Asia and those who they are maybe in Europe. So they are drinking their coffee and we wanted to share some thought with you uh, so you might understand how silly and why we reject such a stupid cult which is full of stupidity a prophet of God chosen by God he need a surgery to be done by God so he can be qualified for God and the surgery involved installing dishes of faith and wisdom obviously Muhammad he have no faith and actually even the Quran says that and obviously Muhammad was so stupid to the point we need to make a surgery to install wisdom and after Allah he made the surgery for Muhammad and now he have the wisdom is telling us this story telling this story alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is still have zero wisdom If you remember where Muhammad he ordered his wives and this is after the surgery to cover themselves because a guy he is a blind is coming the wives they said to Muhammad but why we want to hide why want to wear the veil he's a blind he cannot see us he cannot neither recognize us <laughs> Muhammad he said because now they get him busted he said okay well he cannot see you can't you see him but in Islam women they can see men they are not forbidden from seeing with their eyes. Hijab is made that the man he cannot see the women body, not the opposite. So after the surgery, Muhammad is still a fool. So how fool he was before the surgery.
look like Allah he need to do many more surgeries in order to fix the situation it's very complicated Muhammad he need a lot of surgeries not one not two not a three not four many 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 and here we need to ask the Muslims why Isa why Moses why Abraham why any of the prophet needed a surgery you call them call them their prophet how come none of them needed a surgery is that how bad the case of Muhammad that he was so stupid at the point he is not qualified to go to be a prophet to see the heaven unless we do a surgery and install wisdom and faith obviously according to Islam all other prophets do not need a surgery like that because they are wise and smart and intellect but because Muhammad was dummy and stupid he come with such a story which only foolish people they can believe in so I hope the Muslims they will see how silly how stupid this story is and they will ask themselves if you believe that Allah is God and he can say be is going to be why Allah didn't say to Muhammad be wise and he was be faithful and he was what kind of God he sent his angels in a special mission to fix a defect in his prophet obviously this is cannot be God and cannot be from God and thank you for the one who sent me this picture it was very nice of you to share it with us and I hope guys you learned today how to install wisdom oh, oh hold on hold on did you notice something in the picture anyone notice something this guy who made this picture he did not miss <laughs> look at this look at this <laughs> this guy is really an artist did you see this one the Muslim they say Muhammad you have a mole and this is the seal of the prophethood do you see it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I how many of them I have I think I am many prophet not one me this is the seal of the prophethood that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> all right guys I want to say thank you for being here and don't forget to download the videos as you see I'm not keeping my videos for long in my channel and that because I receive a dish of wisdom and the wisdom saying to me don't keep them so download my videos share them around add subtitle if you speak many other languages feel free you do not need to ask for my permission to do so just be honest in the translation and don't add things I did not say and if you don't mind you can point a link for my videos so people they will see where they can join us live and always by the way uh, we ask people to uh, uh, to uh, uh, join us in minds.com we told you that we have another website which is called minds.com uh, where I have an account there and until now not many of you subscribe I don't know why this is the account minds.com slash Christian Prince it's free it's the same as uh, Facebook and Twitter actually it's combined of both and there uh, it's owned by uh, freedom fighters who don't really allow anyone to take down unless he is doing something illegal not like in YouTube and Facebook so you can make your account there you can post your videos I think they give you up to 15 minutes to post videos um, uh, and you can you know like you can have your friends uh, let us say like a club and in, in, in case we lost an account here or there we have an account there so we can find where to find Christian friends so please join tell your friends download the videos and enter we see you soon again may the Lord bless you and this is a Christian Prince he wish you the best happy Sunday Christ is Lord Islam is a stupid made by the stupid for the stupid one are you stupid I am not and I will not believe in such a stupid story I will not thank you very much take care